So this tutorial we are going to learn how to create a tonal scale using grey lead pencil. So what we need is a 6B or a 4B pencil. We need um, an eraser and a ruler and a piece of paper. So the first thing to do is to create our rectangle that we're going to create our tonal scale in. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle that is 21 long and 4 centimetres high. So once I've got my rectangle, I'm going to divide that into seven sections and they're each going to be three centimetres wide. So I'm just going to put a mark on the outside of my rectangle outline, three centimetres. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen and eighteen. I'm going to do that at the top as well. And you can number them if you like, one to seven. And what we're going to do in this activity is to make sure our number one starts off the darkest of our tone we can create. And number seven is going to be completely white, so with no grey lead pencil in there at the moment. And these sections are just going to guide us to what tone should go where along our tonal scale. So like this example, we're going to start with number one, and I'm going to use my 4B or my 6B pencil here. I'm going to grab my six. And I am going to make sure that I've got a sharp pencil, but I'm not ever going to draw with my um, pencil straight up to the sky. This is going to make really strong marks in your paper. What I'd prefer us to do is to hold our pencil on its side. So my lead is kind of um, on its side to the page. And I get a nice smooth um, pencil line when I do that. So my strokes are going to go vertically up and down and I'm applying quite hard pressure here because I want this one to be as darkest as I can. I can go just before the edge but we don't want to go over that line because we're trying to keep it nice and neat within our rectangle. And then I can, when I get right up to the edge, um, make my brush, oh my pencil stroke, sorry, go horizontally so we get nice and neat. So let's apply the strongest amount of pressure there. I should have no white flecks in this little section. Once we've applied the pressure to the first section, it's dark as we can create. There's no white flecks there. We're gonna to jump to the middle one, which is number four. And I'm going to do the same thing, but this time apply half the amount of pressure because this is the midway point in our tonal scale. So I'm going to start off very lightly. It's much easier if you start off um, lighter than you think is needed, and then you can just build up by drawing vertically and horizontally with your pencil strokes. So this section will have a little bit of the white paper coming through. If I compare this one to the example, I'm hoping that the pressure here is dark, this is completely white, so this is halfway through. Okay, so we're not going to put any pencil strokes in block number seven because that one's going to be white. I'm going to go now back to this section at number two. And I'm going to just consider I need to make this darkness transition into this, which is half the amount of um, darkness or pressure. So I'm going to start lightly, horizontally, then vertically with my pencil strokes and I'm just going to build that up as I'm creating my pencil marks in that section. So that's a good start. This one is definitely lighter than this section but darker than this section and I've got a little bit more transition to go. So let's do section number three now. So again, I'm going to start off much lighter than I want to finish off. But then I can apply another layer 
by turning my pencil strokes. So this turning from vertical to horizontal is really good to get a nice smooth transition so that we don't see individual pencil strokes. Now what I'm noticing between number one and number two is that there's a very faint line that's separating um, each section because of the darkness in tone. So I'm going to work back over that just to smooth that out a little bit. So starting with light pressure and again, just building it up. I want this section to transition really smoothly between each other. And I'm going to do the same between number three and number four. This one looks quite a lot darker than here and I can see where one stops and starts. Now if you do work out that maybe a few sections look too similar in tone, it's okay to go back over some of them and apply a bit more pressure so you can get that gradient working really seamlessly. So my number two here I think should be a little bit darker compared to this number three. Once we're happy with the left side of our tonal scale, we're going to jump over to section number five and six. So remembering number seven has very, very minimal pencil marks in that one. So it's really um, left up to the page of the white paper. So we'll, we'll begin with number five. And this one we do have to be careful, super, super light pressure. Lighter, much lighter than what you think you want to end up with. So I'm just simply touching um, my pencil on the page very, very lightly. And I've got my hand quite low to the paper there, so I'm not upright like this. Okay, moving on to the next section, again, we're going to alleviate the pressure even more. So I'm barely touching the surface now. It's just like a little feather touching the page. So it means that we need to apply some more layers and strokes, but much better to make sure that it's super, super light. Okay, now I'm getting up to the last section, number seven. I don't want my pencil marks just to stop, but I do want them to fade into nothing. So number, the last section, sorry, we might have just a few really, really simple, barely you can see, but just a few there. And there you have a completed tonal scale. So we have seven different tones here from going very, very dark with our Grolet pencil up to nothing. And then we just want to get our eraser and rub around the edges to make sure none of those kind of smudge marks um, are seen. Careful not to take your hand and sweep it across because you're going to then sweep the lead across your page and create more marks. And that one is it.